Oh, why am I flying from the left seat tonight? Um, well, obviously because I have to be flying from the left seat on, on Wednesday. So, yeah. All right. Set the brakes. Do our run up. So, mixture goes full rich. 1700 RPM. There you go. Left. Acceptable drop. Both. Right. Acceptable drop. Both. Um, check the carb heat. Well, the 172 in X plane is fuel injected, so no point in checking the carb heat. Uh, well, th there is no carb heat here. Check the oil temperature, check the oil pressure, check the ammeter, check the vacuum gauge. Um, check the indicators, no low voltage, no, no vacuum indication up here. And then check the idle. Um, what we usually do, we, we pull the throttle all the way out and pull the carb heat out which will make the, the RPM drop to something like really 500 RPM and the engine has to, has to keep running. Um, then carp heat back in and get the RPM back up to 800 or so. Um, then switch over to Egelsbach Info, 118.4. Um, we'd set our assigned transponder code that they gave us, so whatever, one, two, three, four. Um, Turn on, turn on the the transponder uh, uh, altitude reporting, um, and now basically my uh, I do lights camera action. That means uh, uh, landing lights on, strobe lights on. Ah, can't really click that. Jeez, how am I supposed to click that? There you go. Um, uh so lights obviously it's the lights camera refers to the camera that ADC is pointing at me to see me so that's the transponder and action refers to um refers to uh fuel selector set mixture full rich uh trim set for takeoff um everything that's needed to well everything that's needed for action no uh, that is not quite the takeoff trim setting here we go. Um, and also check the um, the directional gyro and the horizon. Okay, and at this point, I'd call Egelsbach Info, 118.4. Uh, Egelsbach Info, November 172, uh, Sierra Papa. Ready for departure, runway zero, uh, correction, runway 26, departure via Delta and they would advise me whether anyone was in the pattern or arriving and give me the wind check and again of course no takeoff clearance because uh it's not a tower um so no actual takeoff clearance just then be advised the traffic is such and such the wind is such and such where uh and if i'm taking off at this in uncontrolled airfield of course uh when i'm crossing the whole short lines i announce on on, on the radio um, Chesna, November 172, Sierra Papa, taking off uh, runway 26. All right, let's go. Okay, 500 to go. At this point, um, 
at this point remind ourselves that um, at 1500 the Charlie airspace of Frankfurt starts. So um, where is the highway? I think I might be falling prey to the <laughs> to the problem that I set my settings in X-Plane way too low and it's not actually, hey shit, there should be the highway right here. Okay, whatever. Um, so imagine I'm seeing the highway and I'm turning south here. Let's see if I can get the highway to show up by increasing the settings in X-Plane. Um, What would that be? World objects? Airport objects? I have no idea. Well, set that to medium and see what happens. That was not... That was... That was apparently not it. Well, I can tell from where I'm in relation to Frankfurt Airport that I'm about in the correct position. Um, hmm. Still no highways yet. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Okay, sorry. I'm not going to experiment with that right now. Maybe it's also something that Ben just recently broke. I don't know. And of course, I'm in, talking to you. I'm in violation already of the airspace. So, 1,500 is the maximum I can, I can fly here. Yeah, and that looks, from my perspective, that looks absolutely right. Like I expected to, um, I expected because because on this way I'm I'm seeing Darmstadt on the left, and I can see uh, uh, the the little mountains, the Odenwald, um, just left of my extended uh, uh, longitudinal axis. So this is exactly the picture I'm 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 looking for. And at this point, um, I'm just going to turn on the autopilot so I can do a little um, um, thing here on the GPS. And basically, what I need to do is I need to recenter uh, the CDI for the flying direct to read. Here we go. And I can, of course, also. Um, use uh, green needles navigation and just set the 192 uh, horse direct to read VOR here and follow that. So at this point when I left the um, former class D airspace of Eaglesbach um, I would be handed off to Frankfurt Approach. Um, the initial call to Frankfurt Approach is um, Frankfurt Approach, November 172, Sierra Papa, Gude, uh, which is the local way in Frankfurt of saying Guten Tag. Um, and um, he will come back to me, or she will come back to me. Um, it's very often staffed, in my experience, by female controllers. Um, 172, Sierra Papa, radar identified. Climb uh, 4,000 on QNH 1013. IFR starts passing 3,000 feet. Um, so at this point, I'm I'm cleared to go into their um, Class C airspace. So full power and um, and um, and climb. And the phraseology IFR starts uh, 3,000. Um, that means we are still flying under VFR, even though they are, have us on the radar. They are controlling us now. But 
um, until we pass 3,000, we're still under visual flight rules. And um, if you're logging your time correctly for your logbook, you don't log any IFR time. So, so you write down the UTC time when you pass 3,000 feet, and this is the time reference you use to to uh, uh, to lock the, the the IFR time in your logbook. Okay. Um, all right. Chat asks whether the radio calls in Germany uh, on Unicom are made in German and or English, and um, it depends. So, what you do is you take a look at the um, at the chart of the airport. And up here, where the frequency is, it says Eaglesbach Info 118.4 EN slash GE. That means they speak English and German. Um, so you are free to use English or German if you're flying VFR. But if you're flying IFR, it's English only. Uh, so unlike in France, uh, where they talk French, even if they are flying IFR, uh, in Germany, you talk English when you fly IFR and you are free to use either English or German uh, when you fly VFR um, and some airports the, the, the very small airports uh, you will see it's it's uh, it says the frequency and and just GE for for German um, and actually when flying VFR I, I strongly prefer um, talking in German uh, because for the simple reason there are uh, 14 year olds flying their gliders uh, in, in the pattern and um, so you have all these 14 year old uh, glider student pilots um, most of them not very good in English so if you want to um, maintain situational awareness uh, with those guys in the in the pattern um, it's, it's really helpful to speak German mm. All right, and um, as you as you see, I put in uh, the autopilot in uh, pitch mode. The actual plane I'm going to do this on Wednesday on uh, has no autopilot, so on Wednesday it's going to be all hand flown. Um, I'm using about the climb speed that I will be using on Wednesday actually, um, because it's currently quite hot in Germany, and on on hot days you usually climb with a uh, with a higher airspeed for cooling, and X plane actually simulates that. The more, uh, the higher the airspeed is, um, the more thermal energy can be extracted uh, from the cylinder head temperature and from the oil temperature. So you can actually see this in X plane that in the summer, uh, flying with a little bit higher airspeed uh, helps keeping your engine cooler. All right, and here at this point, um, they usually cancel all this this crazy airway stuff um, that you filed for. As you can see, if I zoom out here a little bit, my my flight plan has this jagged line here to line up with the cards where where the star starts. And usually, what would happen here is they they tell you um, November one seven two Sierra Papa cleared uh, direct calls work and in order to do this I go in uh, go to the flight plan selection here scroll all the way down to uh, calls for um, put in a direct switch over to GPS and we're going direct calls for All right, now what we need to do here is uh, we're climbing out at full power. We are already at 5,000 feet. It's a good I idea to start leaning. Um, hang on, do I have Lean Assist installed? My my little plugin? Nope, I don't. Whatever. Um, what the hell is this doing? I think I think we're witnessing a bug right here. <laughs> <laughs> 